Hi, it's Tim from Edmore Audio here, and I'm going to talk about the new V Collection 9 from Arturia. Arturia is a giant in the software world, and if you pine for inspiring software instruments, you surely know about them and the long running V Collection series. So, here's a brief overview of the V Collection 9. It's got 33 instruments, ranging from rare synths and keyboard instruments to quirky cult classics. In Analog Lab, which functions as a hub for all the included instruments, there are over 14,000 presets to get you started. They've added four brand new instruments, the Korg MS-20, the Ensonic SQ-80, augmented strings, and augmented voices. Atria has also rebuilt four existing instruments, the Yamaha CS-80, Sequential Circuits Prophet 5, and Prophet VS, and the Piano V. And many of the sound engines and user interfaces on the previous instruments have also been updated. Atria launched way back in January 2002, and just one year later, they released the software emulation of the Yamaha CS80. And that's one of their rebuilds in the V Collection 9. The CS80 is a mammoth analog synthesizer that was used by the late Vangelis for the Blade Runner soundtrack. And if you have a spare $150,000, you can still buy the hardware synth. This is yet again one of the main reasons why you'd want to buy this collection. So you don't have to be a tech billionaire to use these fantastic emulations of iconic synths and keyboards. The first new instrument I want to show you is the Korg MS-20V. If you don't know this synth by look, you've heard it on records from Arcade Fire to Gorillaz to Daft Punk. It's a semi-modular monophonic synth that comes with a quirky sound that never fails to find its way into great music. The hardware version of the MS-20 is monophonic, but Arturia has added in a polyphonic feature with up to six voices. Now, a word of warning, this setting can be very CPU hungry. I've got Georgia here today to play the keys as I take you through the software. Let's do it. The second new instrument I want to show you is the SQ80V. It's an emulation of a classic 80s synth, the Ensonic SQ80. The original hardware synth was a supercharged version of the ESQ1, which I used to own and I loved it. It sounded fantastic. But I will say the hardware was unreliable, hard to fix, so I sold it. And I'm really happy that Arturia has made a software emulation of this. And also new to the collection is augmented strings and augmented voices. I'm really impressed with the user interfaces of these and the flexibility. Both the strings and the voices are made up of two sample engines and synth engines that you can set up in any way you want.
The first two rebuilds I want to show you are the two Profit Synths. These two used to come packaged together, and now they're both fully fledged individual items, meaning that you can dive in a lot deeper. The overhauled sound engine gives the new version of the Prophet 5 much more character and responsiveness, and the user interface is especially inviting. The second Prophet, the Prophet VS, is a waveform synth that I'm really happy that now has its own instrument. With modern music constantly being inspired by the past, this 80s synth will surely find a home in your productions of that flavour. The CS80V has a much cleaner and impactful look, and Arturi have given the sound engine a complete overhaul, and in the time that I've spent with this, the sounds are noticeably richer. The advanced tab is much easier to access and navigate, and plus, you'll be inspired by a ton of new presets. Now the last rebuild is the Piano 5. There's something about this new Piano rebuild that's elevated Archeria in the Piano Instruments software game. The new advanced tab has EQ, compression, lots of reverbs, and a preamp section so you can drive it a bit harder. The real magic, however, is in the model section. Here you have action, acoustics, mics, strings, noises, and keyboard velocity. And this all adds up to a more realistic and lively acoustic piano experience.
would like to point out a feature that a lot of people might miss across all of these instruments, tutorials. On the top left menu, you'll find tutorials and that opens up a bar on the right hand side and that points to sections of the instrument. So for example, if you want to learn about modular synthesis, you open up the modular V3 and the tutorials will guide you through how to use this monster of an instrument and it points you and directs you to the sections. For me, this is by far the best collection on the market right now in terms of price, quality and emulations. This far exceeds Archery's previous releases and that's not bad for a package that was already considered the industry standard. The V Collection 9 comes in at 599 USD or 840 Australian dollars. However, you can pay in up to four installments on Archery's website if you wish. Thanks for watching. See you next time.